Hey guys, how's it going? So today I am in the back flower bed. I have a bunch of kale and a bunch of pansies and some pumpkins that we got from the pumpkin patch that I would really like to get in the ground over here and start filling this area. We got mums planted along the front of this and I didn't film it, so sorry. But I wanna come on here and show you guys just kind of what I'm doing to get these pansies and this kale in the ground and then add a couple pumpkins to dress it up for fall. So yeah, let's get started.
So I went in with three different kales. I went in with the Nagoya Red, Nagoya White, and Songbird Red. And then I also went in with a bunch of pansies. And these are the Inspired Peach Shades pansies. Um, so back here, this is where we have the Songbird Red. These guys will kind of get a little bit taller than the rest of the kale and they'll fill out really beautifully and they sh I don't know if they'll all touch this winter for us. You know, now that the nights are getting colder, the days are getting shorter, plants tend to slow down. So we'll see how much growth they put on. We do have still like two months left of growing time. So they should do quite well here. And then over here, I did three of the Nagoya White. I just had three left, and so I just wanted to pop these in the ground somewhere, and it kind of seemed perfect since I'm doing all these other kale here. And then some more of the, we have the Inspired Peach Pansies here, kind of drifted throughout the bed. And then back here, I did a sweet little drift of the Nagoya Red. Um, yeah, and so I think that the Nagoya Red and the Nagoya White will play off of each other and be really fun and some really great interest for the bed this fall. That is going to be it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for visiting our garden, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. One quick thing before I end the video I forgot to talk about was the drill and the auger that I used. So this auger is really small. This is a two inch auger. It kind of drills the perfect size holes for these six pack containers of annuals. So highly recommend getting a small auger so that way you can kind of get into a bunch of places that are really hard to dig a big hole that you don't want to get your shovel out it just doesn't make sense so a little two inch auger on your drill works perfect for making the perfect size holes for those six inch containers so yeah okay that is it you guys thanks so much for visiting our garden and we'll see you in the next one bye